was so much harder than I thought. You have time. Okay. It looks like we're in the absolute middle of nowhere, which we are, but for good reason. Today, we're going to be trying bobsleigh. Welcome to the first ever episode of Unlocked, where we unlock different sports. I thought that when we got there, we would use this apparatus, and I was kind of not into it, but thankfully, that wasn't the equipment we were going with. This bad boy was. It weighs, I think, around 120 kilos, and the goal is to push it as far as you dare because this is going downhill, so you'll get faster and faster, and in the end, you run into the abyss. But, you're supposed to get in there beforehand. And it's kind of supposed to look a little bit like this. For our purposes today, we're obviously not going to go on ice, but that's also not necessary. We're just learning the push off at the very beginning. We don't have a pilot, and we just want to learn how to get into the bobsleigh without injuring ourselves and without falling flat on our face because you're going downhill, so you have to have really fast legs. And by the way, tomorrow is competition day and we wanted to be at least somewhat prepared. So we went there that day, um, the day before and the boys tried first. I let them because I didn't know um, if I was capable of doing it on my own. So I was like, you guys go first and I'll see if I'll manage. And I wanted a little bit of technical input and I got more than I bargained for. <laughs> I got a really good practice session in and kind of built my confidence and even tried to jump in sideways because I thought it looked so freaking cool. And then at the very last try, I hoped I would finally be fast enough to actually get all the way towards that like jump rope-ish cable at the end to bounce me back and I was so close. <laughs> but yeah, that time I actually jumped on my bum and yeah. <laughs> Today is competition day, and for all the beginners, there's a monetary prize to win, which I definitely want. But for starters, it's going to be so different from the day before. We had to give some athlete information so they know what to like say when it's our turn because they don't know us. We had to wear helmets, and most importantly, the time will actually be stopped. Today is day two, which means it's competition time. I am so excited, but also kind of scared because I've never done this before. And the other women look quite professional. They look like they've done this before for sure. And I think we'll also have a pilot today and we'll need to wear helmets because we'll be a lot faster than I was yesterday. So we'll see. I am so excited, but also kind of freaked out. I feel so awkward because I don't know how to warm up. It's so weird because the only thing I know how to warm up is hurdles. So what am I doing? But it'll be okay. I can be dead last and it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I just tried on my huge ass helmet. I have this L because my head is so freaking big. And I broke off my entire nail. The way this competition works is actually kind of easy. You go twice and the faster of the two counts, that's all there is. So it had to be 
extra fast. Just two more minutes, and then it's the women's turn. There are six women in total, and I'll start last, so I'll at least know how fast I have to go, but <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Okay, so the first round wasn't that great. Let's see what I can do in the second. I'm second overall in the beginners category. It's so cool. Um, I don't even know what to say. It's just really fun. And it felt really good on the second try. So, doing just one thing would be boring. So, now I'm going to do the two man or two woman's discipline. And I'm really looking forward to it. Let's see how it goes. Germany is actually really, really well known to be fabulous at the sport. Him, Florian Bauer, and him, Christian Rasp, are actually two of them. The two of them won silver with two more guys at the last Winter Olympics. And Florian actually went on to win another medal in the two men's category. And it was so fabulous to see all of that because I have known them for a really long time. They used to do track and they're both from Munich where I live. So it was really great to finally see Florian actually do it up close because usually I just see him on the track. And just like that, it was my turn again. <laughs> Being two people makes the sled so much faster. I was so freaking scared at the end that I wouldn't make it into the equipment because I was just so fast, but I made it. My heart just bummed out of my chest. That was really scary, but let's go on to try number two. Sekunden im ersten Durchgang. Jetzt muss die fünf fallen. Komm mal hier. I'm exhausted. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. Katjana Rettenberger with 661. After getting second in the beginners category and fourth overall at this Bavarian Championships, I actually got silver with um, a more professional athlete and it was so, so cool. And the medal is so nice. <laughs> After all of the commotion, it was time to pack up our stuff and get some french fries for the way home. I finally made it home after a long day of competition in a new sport and I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching this unlocked video of mine. Let's unlock our potential together in the next videos. Until then, bye! The German word of the video this time around is Achterbahnfahrt. Let me know if you can say it and what it means in your language. I'd be really, really interested to know. Just comment down below.